If you want to know how your liver is actually functioning, you can't just look at things like AST and ALT in isolation because without the context we need, they're basically meaningless. If you want more early stage indicators as to how your liver is actually functioning and your body's ability to detox itself, look at GGT. If you work out with any intensity at all or you supplement creatine, chances are your doctors probably try to scare you with elevated bun levels or creatinine levels. But if you want to actually see how your kidneys are operating, you need to look at cystatin C. If you're someone who works out, having elevated bun, blood urea, nitrogen, or creatinine levels are basically a given and essentially worthless to look at, and they're always going to be acutely elevated unless you took a few days off before going ahead and getting your blood work done anyway. These values are more so associated with relative metabolic demand and protein turnover. If you eat a high protein intake, you're going to have more protein turnover. Same thing if you work out. If you take creatine, the metabolites of creatine are going to elevate creatinine levels, so that's worthless to look at. But again, if you're doing any sort of resistance, Distance training, these things are always going to be elevated, and especially if you're dehydrated going in. Now, what we need to look at is cystatin C, which is dictating our GFR or our glomerular filtration rate. Think of your kidneys like a water filter, and the water is your blood. So essentially, as your blood passes through the kidneys, you essentially have this mesh that's catching toxins and helping you detoxify your blood and basically regulating relative inflammation. The GFR itself is dictating the efficiency of this flow. You can also look at eGFR for another look at this, but if our cystatin C is elevated, this means our kidneys are directly taking a lot of strain and they're working very hard to filter your blood, and we don't want that, obviously. As a rule of thumb, the harder that your kidneys are working to filter your blood, you're going to have a negative impact on your blood pressure and also the direct endothelial lining on the inside of your arteries, especially the ones inside the kidneys themselves. You're damaging all of this vasculature, so your likelihood of an event or further inflammation buildup is way higher. Lastly, we should also be looking at things like vitamin D, especially 25-OH, because this is not just looking at vitamin D synthesis, this is a master regulator of immune function, hormone production, and overall metabolism. So if you're vitamin D deficient, which most people are, you're directly blocking your body's ability to fight infections, to lower inflammation, and synthesize essential hormones like testosterone. So if you don't plug that nutrient deficiency, you're never going to operate the way you need to.